What'd you guys do before this? Yeah. Well, you but you but you've been talking the whole joke. That's why I stopped. <laughs> I wonder who you voted for. <laughs> No, no, I just, hold on, hold on, uh, how, how, how old are you? You guys gotta be my age at least, older. Yeah, because like, look how you're acting in public, but look how upset you're, you're going zero to a hundred really quick. No, she is. Well, I mean, you're with her. Biden? What is it? We're getting political already? At a comedy show, Michael Linochi deals with MAGA hecklers. You guys are in Vegas. You're supposed to be having a good time. Why are you so hostile? Because have you never been to a comedy show before? You're very confrontational. Is this, is this how you guys always are? No? Yeah, because I'm more into this. This is fun. I want to find out how mentally ill people make it in society. This is crazy. A word from the wise. Never argue with a comedian, like, ever. Why are you so angry? Did you guys lose three dollars today? What happened? You guys, you guys need to each other so you can be a little bit more calm. How am I supposed to do my show at this point? You guys have ruined the evening for everyone. I'm having fun. I get paid regardless. But guys, you know this is crazy right now, right? Let's wait four more minutes. Let's look, let's take an outside look at this whole situation. Do you think this is a normal interaction in society? Because you guys were chatting from the get-go. That's the problem, is you guys think it's okay to talk at a live performance show. Yeah, that's, this isn't work. This is a live show that other people, you're ruining, you're ruining, other people paid a lot of money to be here. This is, my job is to scold you. My job is to scold you. If you can, please check out Michael's full performance on his YouTube. He also has a sports show. I have reached out to him, and we're going to try to get him on. Here's what I'll say. You know, I view this as like the way that Elon Musk views Twitter. This is a safe space. Uh, comedy is free now. Everyone embraced for comedy is forever, but also... You said something I don't agree with, so I'm gonna try and remove you from the platform. Why? Why do these people go to these shows, disrupt the show, go after the comedian who is holding the microphone and think you're gonna win? You know, we've showed these other comedy shows previously. I have seen some MAGA idiots go up there and assault a comedian. I have seen another idiot get mad at, I'm blinking on his name, but a dude that was on Wild and Out went up there and told him your joke is offensive. It's a comedy show. It's a comedy show. And here's the thing. If it is offensive, and if you don't like it, you could do one very simple, subtle thing. You could not raise any objections. You could allow the show to go on. You could get up out of your chair, grab your drink. They're in Vegas, so you could walk around with it and leave. Simple as that. But MAGA won't let you do that. They got to let you know their feelings 24-7 on everything at every turn at all times. They have to be because they claim they're the silent majority. And for being the silent majority, they never shut up. Ever. So kudos to you. You made an ass out of yourself and you're helping Michael out. Michael also has a sports show that I think everyone should check out. Um, so we've reached out to him. I would love to talk to him and also other comedians on them looking back on the clip and also what they would handle, how they would handle it differently and just the overall psychology 
of being in that position on stage and having to deal with folks like that.